watching something you may not believe, you can see the subtitles at the bottom. This horrifically shows Muslim 10-year-old children singing that they will chop off the heads of their Israeli enemies and conquer Jerusalem for Allah. Where do you think this is? Let's just take a minute and think where you suppose where that might be. It's in Philadelphia, United States of America. Barry Nussbaum is with the American Truth Project. Barry, you brought that video to our attention. We're going to show it again more and let you talk about it in a moment. But, I mean, if I had seen that on social media, I would say, oh, that's in the USA. That's got to be fake news. Uh, I saw it and I was stunned. My first thought was it was Pakistan. Then I thought it was in the Palestinian uh, controlled territories where they teach hatred and death to Israel and death to the Jews and encourage children to become martyrs. Um, this was in a school, a Muslim school in the Philadelphia area. So what do you uh, mean a Muslim school? Can you tell us as we show it some more, what is the backstory with this? And I, I'm, well, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to ask. It, it hit social media and it was actually put out by one of the teachers who probably recorded it and wanted the parents to see what great children they were teaching to commit genocide in their school. So these, the song is to become part of the uh, Saladin Empire, which was, you know, a thousand years ago to slaughter the Jews and the Christians and conquer Jerusalem and cut off the heads of the infidels that are there. And these are children, United States children, and the apology was not about what they were singing. It was that, oh, uh, sorry, that video was not authorized for release. Well, oh my God, uh, of course not. I'm stunned it's in this country. We let these people in to teach murder, genocide, and extermination to children in schools that has got to be stopped. This incredible progressive attitude of, it's free speech, you can say whatever you want. Well, no, there's gotta be a line somewhere. And especially when these imams are brought in from overseas, from radical uh, schools of theology, especially uh, the ones that come in preaching jihad, Amy, it's coast to coast, it's in every state, it's in every major city, and they're teaching the kids that go to school in their centers to kill the non-believers. That's you and me, and I would guess tens of thousands of your viewers right now that are watching this and sure as hell better be mortified that this is what is being taught within their communities. As, you, and as they say on social media, let that sink in. We'd better be mortified. Is it any wonder? We wonder why some states have to actually pronounce we reject Sharia law. Well, yeah, that's self-evident with our Constitution and the laws in the United States of America. But look at the growth. Look at the change. And, and, and this isn't a public school, but you say it's a Muslim school. What does that even mean? Well, it's a parochial school. So in other words, you know, there's Catholic schools mm -hmm. and there's... Mm -hmm. Jewish schools, and this is a Muslim school, and this is how they teach their children. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, again, let that sink in. <laughs> Share it on social media. Again, Barry, I, I can hardly believe, like I said, if I'd have seen it somewhere, I'd have said that's fake news, and no way that happened in America, but that was Philadelphia. Yeah, that video was still up this morning on YouTube. If your viewers want to go to YouTube and just put in Muslim Philadelphia School, this video has been seen uh, over a million times, and uh, it honestly ought to be seen a hundred million times.